Okay, so I was making my video and I just got an email from one of my subscribers and he asked me how to integrate this. And as a bonus, I will also put this down on the side. And let's you know, take some time, you know, pause the video and try this too first. Okay, which one do you guys think is easier? Hmm, in fact, they are equally just as easy, all right? So let's do this one first because this is the question that he emailed me and actually it's really easy. It's conceptual rather than computational, okay? So first of all, the question was given this right here is pi and this is negative pi. So of course, you know, this is bigger than that, which is no good. And if you would like, you can rewrite it. This is going to be negative and then change the word of integration and you get negative pi down here and then pi. That this is just one of the integral property. And then you still have the inside it stays the same. Sine x over 1 plus x squared plus x to the fourth power dx. And now you might be wondering how in the world can we actually integrate this? Well, we don't need to integrate this. Because, first of all, I don't think we can actually find an answer for this. And second of all, notice that the power right here on the bottom, hey, they are all even, right? This is x to the power technically. And sine is an odd function. All in all, this is an odd function for the integral right here inside. So I will tell you guys that, let's say if you see f of x, if you call that to be sine x over 1 plus x squared plus x to the fourth power. And to show this is even or odd, what you do is, you put down f and the inside is going to be negative x. You check, right? This is the work that you do to convince people that you actually have an even or odd function. So f of negative x, this means you plug in negative x into all the x here. So you have sine of negative x here. And then on the denominator, you have 1 plus parentheses negative x. And then you square that. And then you add it with negative x, and then you raise that to the fourth power. Okay, on the top, sine is an odd function, so that means negative x, you can put the negative to the front. This becomes negative, and then sine of just x. And then, on the denominator here, this is 1 plus negative 1 squared is just 1, and x squared still, of course, x squared, right? So this is x squared, and then same thing because it's even power. So in the end, you see that we can actually have a negative right here, and then the red part is still the original function. So this right here, we have f of negative x being negative f of x. This means this function is odd, right? This right here is an odd function. So when you integrate an odd function and if this is the same number, but it's like this is negative version of that, in the end, you get a nice number, and that nice number is just zero. And technically, you put on negative zero, but who does negative zero, right? So the answer is zero. So perhaps I'll also write down a note on the side. This right here, it says that if you have negative a to a of an odd function, so just put on an odd function like this, d, however, let's say dx. This right here is just equal to zero, right? This is one of the integral properties. Now, as a bonus, how would you actually integrate this without any number here? This is just not bad neither because we are integrating with respect to y. Why am I doing this, huh? Calculus 3, kind of. So, in the y world, this is just like a constant. That means all we have to do is just write this down and put a y next to it. So it's a constant multiple, so just put on sine of x over 1 plus x squared plus x to the fourth power, and then multiply by y. What done? Technically put plus c, and then that's it. And why don't we put on plus c? I don't know. You, know, you guys let me know. But anyway, that's just for fun. But anyway, this is um, how you integrate even though you have a crazy integrand, but if the inside is an odd function, we have this property, and that's the main point of this little thing right here. As always, that's it. That's just for fun, all right?